what's up, Andrew Fnatic, Tech Fnatic, native from Alternate Drop Black Spot. That kind of with me have the Galaxy S3 to be showing you how to install custom ROMs and any type of Galaxy S3. So that that would include the AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, uh, T-Mobile, Canadian, International, U.S. Cellular, Verizon. I think I already said yeah. So any type of Galaxy S3 in the world. First off, you have to have Clockwork Mad Recovery already installed on your device. If you haven't installed on your phone, you can look right there. I haven't installed uh, Clockwork Mad for any type of Galaxy S3 in the world. So once you got that done, <clears throat> I just want to show you that I have a custom ROM um, on my uh, phone. So as you can see, I have Frosty Jelly Bean. So that's a custom ROM for uh, Galaxy S3 for T-Mobile because I'm running on T-Mobile. So I'm, I'm going to be installing that custom ROM. So make sure you download a custom ROM and transfer it onto your phone. Do not unzip the zip file that you download. Just transfer the direct zip file onto your uh, actual device. So once you get that done, just power off your phone. And we're going to be entering the clock on my recovery mode. So give it a goodbye and I'll come back booting up with the custom RAM of your choice. Okay, it's turned off. Press the volume up, home center button, and power button all at the same time. When you feel the vibration, let go of the power, but keep holding the volume up and home center button. So all three. Let go of the power when you feel the vibration. And just keep holding until you enter into recovery mode. All right, it'll be on the screen. Now we're gonna go to, we're gonna be clearing all the um, um, cache and everything so you don't break your phone, you don't soft break your phone. So first we're gonna be doing a wipe data set factory reset. So that's gonna uh, delete all your apps, your data, and everything on your internal SD card. So make sure you back up all your apps, data, music, um, contacts, all that before you uh, select yes. So we're gonna select it, and now it's gonna do a factory reset on your actual device. So as you can see, it says complete at the bottom. And now we're going to go to wipe uh, cache partition and select yes. Now we're going to go to advanced and select wipe Dalvik cache. And you can navigate using the volume up and down and power button. Okay, once that is done, go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and find that um, custom RAM that you had. So mine was actually on my internal, or yeah, I'm in internal. So I'm gonna be choosing, um, choose from internal SD card or external. I'm sorry, choose from external. If yours is on internal, just choose the first one. Choose it from SD card. <clears throat> so I'm gonna choose external, and right there, as you can see, I have Frosty Jelly Bean. Give it a few seconds to focus. Uh, Frosty Jelly Bean. So I'm gonna be selecting that one, and select yes to install it. Now, once this, is done, once this is done installing, do not just um, start using it once you reboot it. So, please watch the whole video or you're going to run into problems when you're installing a custom RAM. So, we've got this done. It'll take about 5 minutes, so be patient. Okay, Clack my Recovery has finished installing uh, my Frosty Jelly Bean custom RAM. <clears throat> now, we're going to go back and select Reboot System now, the very first one using the power button. So, when your phone finishes rebooting, do not touch it at all. So it's gonna reboot. It might have a custom boot animation. Let's see. If, let's see in my case if it does. So let's see if it boots up and it has a custom boot animation. And no, it doesn't. So it has a stock uh, boot animation, but yours might have a custom boot animation. But when your phone finishes booting up, do not touch it for 15 minutes. Yes, one, five, 15 minutes. Do not touch it. Or if you touch it uh, before 15 minutes, you're gonna run into problems. So I'm gonna let it boot up. And I'll be back once I'm booting up and I'll tell you uh, what point when you shouldn't be touching your phone. Okay, about five minutes after um, it was done on the boot animation, you'll be on this screen. Do not touch your phone at all. Do not even touch the start screen or anything or you're going to run into problems. Let it boot up for 15 minutes total, including the boot animation. Okay, if you do not do that, then you'll run into problems. You'll run into force closes. This thing has stopped working. The process has stopped working. A lot of things have stopped working. So you have to let it load up, load the custom RAM, load all the apps up for 15 minutes then you can start pressing the start button so I'll be back after 15 minutes okay it's been 15 minutes and I'm gonna go into settings and show you I'm on a custom RAM so I'm gonna go into settings and show you I'm on frosty jelly bean RAM so I'm on an actual jelly bean so about device and right there you can see I'm on 4.1 the kernel build number so you can see it's frosty jelly bean 4.1 version 1 and I'm going to prove even more I'm gonna um, hold down on 4. Uh, uh, no, actually keep holding it and you'll get this jelly bean now I'll hold down and you get all these little jelly beans So that'll show you that my actually jelly bean on the galaxy s3 even though it hasn't been officially um, released So that's how you install um a custom ROM on your galaxy s3. Hopefully this tutorial was informative and helpful 
if you're a new beginner into uh, the Android world and into a new Galaxy S3 device. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you already haven't to help support me and to get more tips, tutorials and all this to be not notified and check out my channel for more Galaxy S3 um, tips and tricks like uh, free Wi-Fi tethering for your T-Mobile phone, uh, how to do an Android backup and much more for your Galaxy S3 device. And give this video a big old thumbs up if you don't mind. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next video. Yeah.